Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you're going to be joining me um, for our Taking Care of You yoga series. Um, a few things I just want to bring your attention to. Um, first is just some tools, equipment that you could have around that might help you make your yoga practice a bit more comfortable for you. So the first thing I would suggest having around, if you have it, are a set of yoga blocks. These are just a piece of foam that can be used at different heights to bring, essentially to bring the floor closer to you. So to put your hands down on, to put your foot on, a variety of different ways to use them. You do not have to have yoga blocks in order to practice yoga. So one thing that you can do instead of having yoga blocks is to get maybe a stack of books. Get yourself a stack of books that you can use in these cases where if you feel like you're unable to really touch the ground like you want to and you want to bring the ground closer to yourself. A stack of book books works just great. If you are interested in purchasing yoga blocks for yourself, you don't need to go online and spend a ton of money on them. I think we bought these blocks on Amazon, but you could also, um, I've seen them at Target. I'm sure you get them at something like Walmart. Um, I think even maybe TJ Maxx might have something like that. Again, you don't need to go out and buy $50 yoga blocks. It's, you don't need to spend a ton of money in order to practice yoga. This is just to make you feel a little bit more comfortable. The next thing I would suggest having around, if you have it, is a yoga strap. This is literally just like a woven piece of, it looks like a belt, essentially, um, that you can use to extend your reach. So if for some reason, you know, I can't imagine we're going to be doing anything with this on, on Monday night. Um, but in general, things like if you need to grab your knee, you're lying on your back and you need to bring your knees toward your chest, you could use this to help extend your reach to bring your knees toward your chest. These are also great to do shoulder stretches um, to put behind you and stretch out your shoulders a little bit. Again, you don't need to have a specific yoga strap in order to do these things. You can use a scarf, you can use a belt, you can use the tie for your bathrobe. Um, it's just a long piece of fabric, whatever you have. Again, you don't have to have this in order to practice yoga. It just is something that might make you feel a bit more comfortable. Yoga straps, if you're interested, you can buy on, again, I think I got this on Amazon, um, and I have definitely seen them at Target. Um, I'm sure something like, again, Walmart or TJ Maxx. Um, I just know I've seen them at Target because I love Target. Um, this is not an ad, obviously. <laughs> Um, so all of these things can be found at the store if you want them, or you can easily just use something from around your house. The other thing I'm going to suggest that you have around, um, for our practice tomorrow night and going forward, if you want it, um, is a chair. I'm going to have a, a dining room chair that doesn't have any arms. That's the thing. It really shouldn't have any arms on it. Just, a straight back chair. Your computer chair won't really work. I'm, you want something that's more like, um, like a straight back, like a dining room chair. If you happen to have a folding chair, that's even better. Um, I don't have any folding chairs here in my apartment, so I'm going to use a dining room chair just to show you how you can do yoga sitting in a chair. If for some reason you don't have a chair, you can even do, um, especially Monday's yoga practice, you can even do it sitting on your couch if that works best for you. Or if you want to have something that's kind of at waist height to, do, to lean over onto, you can use a couch or sofa, you can use a coffee table, you can use a countertop, you can use the wall. Um, so just making sure you have something around you that you can either sit on um, if you don't feel comfortable sitting on the floor because we will be spending some time on the floor. So having something around that you can sit on, like I said, a high back dining room chair, a folding chair, you could even use your couch. 
The other thing, couple things you'll want to have around are um, some blankets and some pillows. Not because we're taking a nap, although that would be a great way to practice self-care, but it's another way that we can help our bodies adjust to being either on the floor or standing in ways that can support our bodies if we're not used to being in these yoga postures. Like I said, we will be spending some time on the floor on Monday night. So if you need to have something to put under your legs, especially if you're lying on your back, I know for me personally, when I'm lying on my back, um, I need to have something underneath my knees. I can't lay flat on the floor because it hurts my lower back. Um, so having something to put under your knees, a blanket or some pillows. Also, at the end of our practice, we'll be doing something called Shavasana, which is just a rest, laying on the ground um, on your back if you feel comfortable with that. Um, so I always Always like to have cozy things around for that a blanket or pillows to lie comfortably if you have an eye pillow um, and you want to bring that you're more than welcome to put that on during Shavasana but just have some of these cozy elements around to help you during your practice I also want to mention that you should really take the time to set up the space you're going to be practicing in whatever that looks like if you have a yoga mat great if you don't have a yoga mat it's totally okay. A yoga mat really is to help us define the space that we're practicing in. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's totally fine. If you have um, carpet, you really don't need a yoga mat. Um, if you have hardwood floors, I would definitely suggest doing the practice in your bare feet um, so you don't slip and slide around on the floor. Um, if you have your, like I said, if you have a yoga mat, great. If you don't, it's totally okay. Totally okay. Another way to kind of set up your space is to think about what you have around you that's gonna help bring in that element of calm. Remember, this is about taking care of you and taking care of your own self-care because you spend your time all day caring for others. So set up your space so it feels good and calming to you. Maybe you turn down the lights a little bit. Maybe you light a candle or have your essential oil diffuser going with a smell that you really like that calms you down. Make this space yours. This is all about you. What to wear. You can really wear whatever you want that's gonna help you move. I wouldn't suggest wearing like jeans because um, those can be a little restrictive. Also, I don't know when the last time I wore <laughs> jeans was uh, during this pandemic COVID time, um, but making sure that you're wearing something that you can move in. Leggings or sweatpants or pajama pants, even if that works for you. Um, you do not need to go out and buy expensive yoga clothes. I am in a yoga teacher training program, and my leggings are from Lane Bryant. They're not like expensive Lululemon. Not that Lululemon is made for us fat folks. Um, but I don't have expensive yoga clothes. Like my tank tops are from Old Navy, right? So you don't need expensive yoga clothes in order to practice yoga. So again, just something comfortable that you can move around in that makes you feel good in your own body. The other last thing I want to suggest for you is, some, is something to have nearby is some water. Make sure you have some water around. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. We always want to be hydrating throughout the day, but especially when we're moving our bodies, we want to make sure that we're hydrating as much as we can. So having some water nearby would be helpful to, with us to do that. Those are all of my kind of, this is what you should have or um, suggestions that I have for you to have nearby. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out via email to me. Um, and I can answer any questions you have. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow night. And I'm really excited to teach my first yoga class. I will see you all tomorrow night. Have a great rest of your day.